Hello everyone and welcome to QE. The pound or pound mass is a unit of mass used in British Imperial and the United States customary systems of measurement. Various definitions have been used. The most common today is the international avoirdupois pound, which is legally defined as exactly 0.4535923737 kilograms, and which is divided into 16 avoirdupois ounces. The international standard symbol for the avoirdupois pound is pounds, an alternative symbol is LBM, for most pound definitions. A simple plastic measuring cup, capable of holding the volume 1 metric cup with a scale for US fluid ounces. Not to be confused with drinking cups, or cup serving sizes, which may not necessarily correspond with this unit. The cup is a cooking measure of volume, commonly associated with cooking and serving sizes. It is traditionally equal to one half US pints, 236.6 milliliters. Because actual drinking cups may differ greatly from the size of this unit, standard measuring cups may be used, with a metric cup being 250 milliliters. Cups are often abbreviated as E, and most measuring cup sets will contain 1 fourth C, C, 1 half C, and 1 C. Note that a US cup is 240 milliliters, whereas a UK cup is 250 milliliters. If your recipe is written in America, assume that it is a US cup. It is safe to presume that recipes that are written in Europe and the rest of the world use UK cup measurements. Many recipes require measuring cups and spoons, so you can include precise amounts of various ingredients. These are quick and easy to use once you know the basic abbreviations, terminology, and techniques. Once you are used to the different measurements, using the measuring cups and spoons will allow you to quickly and accurately measure your ingredients. A cup is a unit of volume, measurement of volume equal to 16 tablespoons, 1 half pint, 1 fourth quart, or 8 fluid ounces. A US cup is about 237 milliliters, Rougher equivalents are 240 milliliters and 250 milliliters, where the latter fits nicely with a US pint of 500 milliliters and a pound of 500 grains. A metric cup is 250 milliliters in Australia, Canada, New Zealand and the UK. These countries previously used the imperial system, in which a cup would be 284 milliliters or 6 fifths US cups. A Japanese rice cup is 180 milliliters. A measuring cup of this size is sometimes included with rice cookers. A teacup, often seen as a unit of measurement in Indian recipes, is about 190 milliliters or of an imperial UK cup. One cup of unsifted flour weighs 5 ounces and one cup of sifted flour weighs 4 ounces. One cup, 240 ml of uncooked rice will generate anywhere from one and a half cups 360 milliliters to three cups 720 milliliters of cooked rice a quarter pound of butter is equal to a half cup in u.s measurements in the british imperial system of measurements this is 0.42 cups or 118.29 milliliters a fluid ounce is used for the measurement of fluids, whereas an ounce is used for the measurement of a solid substance. A fluid ounce is represented by FL ounces, whereas an ounce is represented by ounces. When a recipe calls for vegetables in cups, you might be confused trying to figure out how much you need to add. Using a measuring cup to find the right amount of veggies isn't too difficult at all. Choose a portion that's about the size of your fist or a baseball. If you don't have a measuring cup or are in a hurry, make a fist and compare it to the overall amount of your vegetables. If your veggies are roughly the same size, then you have about one cup. Dry measuring cups are designed to be filled to the top of the cup, whereas wet cups have a measuring line below the brim of the cup. This helps to prevent the liquids from spilling over the edge of the cup when they are transferred to the bowl. Place the cup on a flat surface when measuring liquids to ensure an accurate measurement. 
If you are using a jug with cup lines, use this for both wet and dry ingredients. The use of a standard sized coffee mug to roughly measure 1 cup, 120 grains, of flour. Look at the coffee mugs you have available and choose the one that is the most average size. Avoid using oversized mugs or small cups, such as teacups. If you're baking and your recipe calls for a very precise amount of flour, don't use this method as it's not precise enough. Note that standard coffee mugs range in size from about 8 to 12 ounces, 237 to 355 milliliters. If you aren't sure how big your coffee mug is, use a 12 ounces, 355 milliliters bottle of water to figure it out. Fill the bottle up if it's empty, then pour the water out into the mug until it's full. If the bottle is empty, the mug holds 12 ounces, 355 milliliters. If the bottle is one third of the way full, the mug holds 8 ounces, 237 milliliters. So, we come to 16 ounces equals 1 pound or 2 cups. Another way to look at the equivalent is that 1 cup weighs 8 ounces, and therefore 2 cups equals 16 ounces, and this is the same weight of 1 pound, 16 ounces. If you have any questions, comment below to let me know. And I do my best to answer them. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to give us a like. New here, why not subscribe? And don't forget to turn on the notification bell, so you never miss a future video. And I'll see you in the next one.